Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face, for the most part I'm pretty sure, of Wet n Wild products. I found some products that are old favorites and also testing out some new Wet n Wild products like the Photo Focus Foundation Stick and the new bronze, bronzers, some new bronzers that they came out with. So if you're interested in seeing how these products worked out for me and they're super affordable, go ahead and keep on watching. I achieved this look with the products of All Wet n Wild. So if you're interested in seeing which products I use, go ahead and keep on watching. First I'm going to start off with the eyes and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette and it kind of resembles the Modern Renaissance. I used this palette in another one of my videos and I know that like the shadows are pretty good, the mattes are like pretty creamy and I'm not super impressed with like the one shimmer that's actually like a shimmer is this like gold one right here. I'm not super impressed by it, but to be honest, for the price, I really do enjoy it. I got this palette, I think it was like on sale. They're always on sale when I go for like $3. So I went ahead and dipped my brush into this shade right here. I'm gonna just put that into the crease. And you see these palettes and they're on sale. I definitely recommend to pick them up, especially if they have like a color scheme that you don't already have because they're pretty pigmented. And they're affordable, so like, come on, stop even playing. Everything in life doesn't have to be bougie and expensive. Like, if it does the job, it does the job. You're smarter for picking something that's affordable up to add to your collection. I'm also using Wet n Wild's brushes, and I like this one. I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm pretty sure it's like the crease brush. And it's super soft. Oh my gosh, I love doing my makeup. I'm gonna go into this burnt, like, brickish orange red shade. I'm gonna apply that under the crease, but just like, still into the crease. Just a little lower. So recently I went to this karaoke bar with one of my sisters. I mean, I'm not one to be like super shy. Like I'm down to like do that and I wouldn't definitely be against it. It sounds like so much fun to me. So I was like, yeah, you know, like I'm down. I didn't know what to expect. And when we got there, it was super cool. There was like greens everywhere. So whatever song someone was singing, it was just like all the lyrics were around. So you could like sing along even if you weren't on stage. And then there was like a little stage and they would hand you the microphone and just like the music would be on in the lyrics it was just super chill and people were just like really relaxed and like encouraging just there to have a fun time and I karaoke to Ariana Grande thank you next and I had a, I had a great time I felt I felt great I do like a little halo eye I'm gonna take a little bit of this born this way concealer and pack it on now I'm just gonna take the one gold shimmer shade in the palette right here and I'm gonna apply it into the center of that okay now I'm just going to go ahead and blend around the edges so it doesn't look so wacky. Now I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and now I'm going to attempt to do my wings on camera if I fail. I fail. Okay, so the eyes are done now, and I think my wings are decent. I know Jenny69 really inspired me because one day she was just like, don't even worry, don't even stress. If your wings aren't like sisters, they should be cousins. So, you know what? I'm happy with it. Ever since I used the NYX one, the NYX matte liquid liner, I don't, I would never want to use this again. This was not, like, impressive. It was, like, kind of, like, dragging, kind of jagged in certain places. It just wasn't, like putting down the product as smooth. I'm not sure if this one's just like kind of old and I hadn't been using it, but I thought this was really good back then and it is good, don't get me wrong, it is, but I really got used to my next one and I like my next one better, so just saying that. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick and I'm in the shade Soft Ivory. I haven't used this, so, oh. It feels super creamy, I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of heavy on right now. Because when I put my hourglass one, I don't feel it like as heavy. But we'll check this one out. Right now, it's definitely giving me medium coverage. I'm gonna try to build it up. You can tell right there. A little bit of like scars that I have from picking at my skin. But it's definitely easy to blend out. It's not like drying super fast where I'm like, whoa, WTF is going on. Do we see this? What is that? Like it's building up here. Okay, so the places that I put the foundation on that I don't have like anything going on in my skin, like texture or anything, it does look really pretty and it sits on the skin very naturally. You can tell like it looks like foundation right here and on my chin. It kind of just doesn't sit and cover. It's not a total flap or anything, but 
It's not my favorite. Next I'm going to be trying one of their new Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzers. And I used to have this shade, well at least it was named the same thing, um, to get to Brazil in like the round um, packaging that they used to have. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and bronze up the cheeks. Hmm. Woo! That looks pretty. Gotta bronze up those temples. It's definitely super blendable and it's kind of hard to like mess it up or put too much or like you know make it look patchy nice formula I approve next I'm gonna be going in with their wet n wild color icon blushes Ooh, pigment uh, okay but sometimes I always <laughs> sometimes I don't like when blushes are too pigmented because they get a little crazy oh Blush on the nose is the only way to go. Blush on the nose pulls the look together for me. I feel like when I don't wear blush on my nose, like, I look like Booboo the Fool, trust me. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighters, and this is in the shade I'm So Lit. And right off the bat, I like this packaging way better than Kylie's because it's bigger and it actually has, like, enough space so that, like, when you open it, the powder doesn't necessarily go flying out because that's what Kylie says. I can already see the blindingness. A little under the brow. Is that okay with you? Damn, one wild really needs to chill. They didn't have to go that hard with this highlight. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the nose. Let's take a little more. What? Ah! <laughs> that was too much. I'm going to need to fix that. Okay, it's time for me to go to sleep. Just kidding, the night is young. So I'm basically done with the face. I'm just going to apply this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Coral Corruption. Mmm, scandalous. And just going to apply that to the lips. Duh. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you're new here to subscribe or turn on the little bell. Yeah, I hope you guys like this video on some wet and wild stuff and some of the products I like, some of the products I didn't like. Let me know if you have any favorites or if you tried out any of these products and how they worked out for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.